Baby, you blow my mind. You're just stunning. You're my cowgirl, my African woman, my everything. You look gorgeous. But this is not what 10 people on a beach looks like. <laughs> Ken and Jules, I think I came to you and I knew that I was going to do this. There's people you come to and you have these crises in your life at 50 years old. You can't understand why things are going chaos. Well, I come to you guys because you, you know how to settle that chaos. I think we should start a club, an ADDHD club or something. <laughs> Thank you so much. You mean a lot to us. You've done a lot for Kay and I since she's been here. And we wouldn't have had anybody else do the Master of Ceremonies. Mac Nichols, David and Crystal, obviously most of us know David and went to school with him, some of us. <laughs> so, my daughter used to call him Scary Dave. No, Crazy Dave. Get Even, it right. There we go. Crazy. Put me on the craziest horse out there. And she taught that horse a lesson. <laughs> That's for sure. They couldn't be here tonight. Um, Dave's sister having a success in the Cape. But they generously gave us this beautiful venue, which we were hoping would happen. Because we wanted it to be part of our community from people that ke really cared about us. And Dave and Crystal stick their foot in our faces a lot. <laughs> um, and that's what real friends are um, they're getting you when they think you need help they're there for your help and today Crystal and David allowed us to let Laurie and Cray be their representatives so Cray you're going to be having tequila later for your father but please don't <laughs> climb up the pipes <laughs> just behave okay <laughs> um, I'm flabbergasted to tell you the truth Linda Stone and Beezy were supposed to be here tonight, as I said, but they've had to shoot off down to the Cape to see their grandkids. And it's so uncanny that when Kay and I started planning this, and we knew this was going to be hectic in three weeks, you think, okay, florists, let's just get florists and get quotes and we'll see what happens. And the, the florists throw quotes at you like you're going to buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's literally, Kay and I had spoken about it, I could see she was upset and she said to me, Beezy's calling me, and it was after six, so uh, Beezy calls before six in the morning as well, so it's not <laughs> So, I said, hey, Beezy, what's up? He says, hey, Darren, listen, man, I hope you don't mind, but Linda would love to have a part of doing something for Kay's bouquet. And I walked outside, and I was, like, stunned for a while, and Beezy just chassed and chassed and chassed, and I said to him, the first thing I heard you say was, she wants to have a part. He said, yeah, she really... She doesn't want to take over, she just wants to be able to do something. And I said, dude, you must have been listening to my conversation. And he said, why? I said, we've just got a quote from the, from the florist and I can't buy any more fishing rules for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, and I heard Linda scream to him, they must get you early tomorrow morning. And so I said, okay, come, we'll go to Beezy's and Linda's. <coughs> And as soon as she heard what was going on, she just said to Kay and I, and I mean, we were, then we were really stressed, remember? Good God. <laughs> she was taking me to Marisburg to go clothes shopping. This is like, I need three weeks to plan for that alone. And Linda and Beezy just, we walked out of there and it was like, Sucks. We just hit the lotto or something. That's how it felt like, jeez, can you believe that you're going to do all of this? And Linda and her soldiers, amazing. And it's this community and it's the way they do things. And that's why I think she lives here with me because otherwise, why the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so to the ladies that all helped, you guys are amazing. Um, you blow my mind. The things that you do and the help and the care. It's a it's a unique community. <sighs> Where is David? Have you touched me lately? I'm over here <laughs> with the Durango people to cause Leanna's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
There's a lot of people we've got to thank today as well. The way you guys turned all these plants into you, looking like this is supposed to be like this. I mean, this garden is stunning. Elrina, Nike, I don't think I can thank you enough, guys. You have had so much impact in my decision to do this. You were the first guys to see the ring, even when I nearly lost it in the drain. <laughs> um, and to, to want to actually do work at somebody's wedding that you've been invited to do, that's, that's friendship, eh? that's mm. love. It's, this is what we do in Southern Africa. We do these things and people take it for granted, but it's not unseen by us. We blown back. So thank you to you, Amanda and Eddie and your team. It's outstanding. I've already yeah. had everything of but I'll try again. <laughs> Apparently yeah. I gotta gain weight. <laughs> yeah, because you gotta lose some. Put a pata, put a pata, put a pata. DJ Russ, okay. you came here like the morning before and I thought you had come with like a whole gang of guys, but the girls told me that you'd spent the whole morning doing this and kid, it's no wonder you're so popular. It's you organized and you're professional and I dig you for doing what you did for us. Gavin, cutting the steaks? Hey, you cut those things late, bugger, but thanks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, our families, obviously this has been the most stressful thing. Not that we've got like multitudes of parents, but <laughs> trying to get them out of Zimbabwe where there's no fuel, to get to the airport if there's no fuel, to get on a vehicle, to climb in a plane. So that was really awkward. And the American side, you guys are really faulty. This is <laughs> Pam jumps on a plane. Cora jumps on a plane. Margaret bullshits. Everybody jumps on a plane. Doesn't that worry you a little bit? I lost a big bet against her. <laughs> now I've got to jump on a plane. <laughs> yeah, I'm shaking just thinking about it. Um, for Kay and I, we really didn't think this was going to actually happen. It was too, it was too fast, but it worked lacquer in our favour. We thought ten people beach. Oh, we'll get away with this. Like we've stolen a chicken from a hen. And I, I'm, I'm brave, but I'm not bulletproof. So I said, we're going to have to tell your mum, because I haven't told her yet. So, and she said, no, nah, I don't know if we should. Let's just do it first, and then tell Nancy. I, said, I don't know why everybody's afraid hey, of me. my age, getting shot with ak 47 I won't recover so well. So we told Nancy, and voila, this happened. You go. So yeah, 10 people on a beach, baby. I'm loving it. Um... The parents, I suppose we can only thank you for who we are. Um, I've apologized to Dave that I'm slightly older than Kay. He doesn't see it anymore. And we definitely don't see it. And it's probably why I took all the mirrors down in the house, but it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happens again? You said it helps, baby. As <laughs> long as only you we can see. <laughs> On a more serious note, Nance and Dave, um, I'm still flabbergasted that you let your daughter go to Cameroon. It just blows my brain that I don't even let Kristen go to Joburg. <laughs> <laughs> she is the bravest bird I've ever met. She just, even though she's scared, she shows the strong, fearless face and when you're four foot nine, it's, yes. It's, <laughs> <laughs> when you're a little bit four foot nine, <laughs> you've got to have a big heart to face everything that comes your way. And baby, you, you did, but you never met a rhinoceros. <laughs> yeah, I kept on pushing that on you in, into the bush. <laughs> but you are... A product of your mum and dad, and I believe that because they gave you the power and the strength to be who you are. Your sisters are the same, they're individual. So Dave and Nance, thank you so much for 
having this child and allowing her to travel because I really and truly would never have traveled to find her and that is the honest to God's truth. I only go fishing as everybody knows and if I'm not fishing I'm working. So Kay came to me, she found me, she poisoned my mind. <laughs> People say that you fall in love. I didn't fall in love because that implicates it ended. I'm free falling in love with you, baby. Aww.